I built a church on it, and another a gambling casino, a third one a tourist resort. Just defile the whole place. A church can be built anywhere, but for a temple to be built, it has to have divine sanctioned presence. You have to have Agama Shastra supporting it. You have to have Prana Pratishta. So many other factors go into it. You can't just build a temple anywhere without that. So it was a matter of great pain for everybody. But uh, Swami Dayanand Saraswati, Pejavar Mat Swamiji, they all went and uh, they made it very clear that they will not tolerate this. The Congress government of Andhra Pradesh backed down. And now they have declared not only that all seven hills belong to the Tirupati Devasthanam, but also that there will be no other religious literature circulated in that. <laughs> Unprecedented uh, victory after, you know, it, was a, it is a, it's a turning point. It's a, uh, it's a, what is called as a defining moment in our Hindu tradition. A resolution was also passed by all the sadhus present there which is worded, they are obviously not going to support any political party because there is no party, political party support. But the wording is very clear that we, sannyasis, acharyas, spiritual figures, we have resolved that we shall not support any political party which, does, which works against the interests of the Hindu religion and the Hindu community. It's a double negative. It has to, it will become a positive statement only when a party comes into being. And in this context, uh, in New York, with thunderous applause, the a resolution was passed that a Hindu party should be founded. So I assume what uh, Pariva said to me in 1984, and which he which we discussed when I met him in Velour Jail and today it is taking shape. I find uh, many, many forces in India have decided that the next elections should be fought on the threat to Hindu society. <laughs> the threat to Hindu society need not be directed against anybody else. But then, they must also feel for us. If a cartoon is published in Denmark, many Hindus go out in demonstration. The Prime Minister wrote a letter to the Prime Minister of Denmark and cancelled the visit of the Foreign Minister of Denmark to India in protest. We are supposed to be a secular government, but on this issue, he said, no, it hurt religious sentiments. But Nidhi Shah, Shankaracharya of Kanchi, Swami Jayendra Saraswati was put in a jail. Not a single Muslim or Christian organization came to protest. It's not that they didn't know. I myself contacted them. So you can't be like that. Therefore, the religions, religious persons of other religions other than Hinduism have to acknowledge openly, publicly, that their ancestors are Hindus and therefore they are as much a part of India as we are, we Hindus are and therefore we are a Hindustani society means Hindustan means the identity of India is Hindustan, Hindustan means land of Hindus and those others whose ancestors are Hindus. So I think uh, in the context of what are the idea, the dimensions of the Hindu mindset? I've written this book. This book is being released in Delhi on 18th September. Uh, it will be formally released by the RSS Sar Singh Chalak Sudarshan. But Perivar Swami Jayendra Saraswati Swami Gal, he will be present and he will bless the occasion. He'll, he's coming all the way to Delhi. To, to participate and bless the occasion and I hope uh, therefore a Hindu renaissance 
can be proud about, where we know our true history. We know that all these caste divisions are not based on birth. We know that this is the only country that Hindus can identify with themselves. There is a famous uh, shloka in uh, verse in uh, Valmiki Ramayana where Lakshman says after conquering uh, Lanka, he says such a beautiful country, everything is here, why don't we stay here sir? So Rama says, no matter even heaven is there, but ultimately my motherland is dear to me, that's where we will stay, no matter what it is. <laughs> the same way, whatever might be our failings, the fact of the matter is that it is India, which is our mother, motherland, and therefore, and that motherland is identified with the Hindu culture. People may be of different religions, but they need not be of different culture. We are all of one culture and should be of one culture. And that mindset, which is in many dimensions, I have described in the book, and that is why today, on this occasion, I thought that I started my first lecture in America from here, <laughs> that I should first give the copy of the book here before it is released in India. Thank you very much.